Louise Houghton. Hello, it's great to be back with you on the show today and we're going to be getting the ball rolling with a look at what's coming up over the next half an hour. Over 700 buildings in two days. That's what visitors had in their plans for the weekend with Open House London. This annual festival is the capital's largest for architecture and design and it's now in its 23rd year. The event gives people the chance to step inside buildings that aren't normally open to the general public. Euromax reporter Megan Lee explored some of the buildings that define the city's character. Now, we're fast approaching the 25th anniversary of German reunification. To mark the occasion, we interviewed 25 Germans who were born around the fall of the wall. These young adults didn't grow up in a divided country, but many of them still felt the separation. You can find all they had to say on our website at dw.com forward slash generation 25. We will also introduce you to 10 of these interesting young Germans on our show this week and next. The first one today takes us to the outskirts of the former East Berlin. Remember, you can find out more about this new series by going to the link below. And stay tuned this week for more info on our prize giveaway of this bag and a genuine piece of the Berlin Wall. Right now, though, it's time to head back to London at the top of our express. Ten years ago, paintings by German artists like Neo Rauch and Hans Eichinger hit the international art scene and reached high prices on the market. They both studied at the Academy of Visual Arts in Leipzig under Arno Rink. He himself is a renowned painter and helped found the art movement New Leipziger Schule. This fall, Rink is being honoured with a solo exhibition in Rostock. Well, it's time for you to take a virtual holiday right now, courtesy of one of our viewers. We had a letter arrive from Buenos Aires in Argentina. On the Amalfi Coast, the surrounding mountains create stunning backdrops for the beach, and the countryside is perfect for harvesting lemons, which is made into the local aperitif limoncello. Well, I'll have to add it to my ever-increasing list of places to visit then. Time now, though, to say goodbye, but I will be back again tomorrow with more lifestyle news from around Europe, so hopefully see you then. Cheers.